used to be an actor, now I'm a father. There's my delighted wife, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. If looks could kill, literally. Um, I, I don't know if she was pregnant in this picture, but she was clearly barefoot, so she's halfway stereotypical. Uh, here she is uh, now, uh, her eyes are dancing. We have five boys, uh, no daughters. Yeah, and apparently that's my fault. I don't know how. I'm not the one having them, you know. Um, but five boys. Now, it may not surprise you that I do hail from Utah. So just up the road a piece. Yeah, right. So just off frame there are like the other four wives. It was... <laughs> it was picture day for Liz in this one, and so she... It's terrible, I know. I literally, a master's in human resource management, you'd think that I would be more appropriate than that, but that's just the way I live. That's how I roll, baby. So here they are getting a little older, uh, five boys, and she's getting a little happier. Oddly enough, very little changes through the years, if you'll notice <laughs> there. <laughs> it's even a different house, and the clock is the same. We are nothing if not consistent. Here they are starting to take after her a little more <laughs> as, they, <laughs> as they age. No, I, I kid, I kid. She, she's, um, she's just great. She is, she's, uh, you know, she pretty much has raised these five boys as I've been out on the road for many years uh, doing this. And I, I love what I do. It's great. And, and just in recent years, I've been able to kind of pull back a little and, and just kind of pick and choose and, and do certain engagements so that I can be home with these guys more. This, you know, this is why I do what I do. That's my... That's my reason, my raison d'etre, or whatever. I don't, I don't speak of the French, but my wife just recently, this is kind of cute, she recently learned what LOL stands for. Didn't know for the longest time, you know, LOL, you know, laugh out loud. And she thought it was, um, and many of you may have confused the same thing at first, lots of love, right? Lots of love. So as she now finds out that it's laugh out loud, she's immediately haunted and horrified by past emails and Facebook posts. <laughs> Buddy, I know you and your mom, you and your, your mom, they love each other still. The divorce is going to be tough. LOL, we're with you. <laughs> <laughs> Our prayers are with your father. LOL, we hope the surgery goes well. <laughs> she's just, I felt, so, she's just cute that way. It's a lot of fun. All right, so let's talk about levity for a minute. Now that we've experienced it a little bit, Sometimes, you know, latitude is about letting people have a little bit of your time, too. You know, I mean, you're busy, 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 but if you're in a leadership position, you know, ideally, your role is to lead others so that they're busy, 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 and then you focus on vision and everything else. This is a little commercial I did a few years ago for um, uh, a church organization. Some of you will have seen this, but, but I think this helps to describe kind of, you know, the whole idea. Hey, hey man, lighten up. You know, give, give people a little of your time. Not today, pal. Dad's got a big presentation to do Monday. Maybe Daddy can play next week, okay? Daddy doesn't work. Daddy doesn't get paid. People like Daddy's work so much, they pay him for it. Occasionally. Okay, what now? What's this? Can I buy some of your time? <clears throat> no, you can't. Uh... That's too bad. Well... <laughs> There's no real lesson to be learned there. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go to attitude now. So, if <laughs> sorry, Leanne, <laughs> she's she's having hot flashes over here now. From <laughs> it is terrible, I know. So if latitude is what you allow others to bring to the table when, in terms of a fun culture, <laughs> then attitude is what you yourself contribute to the culture as well. It makes sense, right? That, I mean, you know, all of us would contribute something. Uh, who, who knows who this is? Herbie Kay, right? But who is it? Especially if you're local. Herb Keller, her Southwest Love Field, right? I mean, Southwest Airlines, would you call that a serious industry, by the way? Oh, holy cow. Yeah, I mean, maybe not Southwest itself, but the commercial aviation industry, yeah, yeah, very, very serious. A lot of lives at stake every day, millions of lives. Yet Herb, Heller, Herb Kelleher, uh, 40 years ago, 
had an idea that it's an industry that can afford to lighten up, right? I mean, here he is in his you know, CEO photo in a plaid shirt with kind of a devil may care attitude smile going on. What were the top three things that he looked for when he was recruiting and training and bringing his people on board and building his culture? Number three, education. Got to have it. Show me some paperwork. I don't care if it's bricks and mortar or University of Phoenix, whatever you got. Number two, experience and ability. Awesome. Yeah, we need you to be a pilot who's actually flown a plane. You have two, what, two, three hours in the air. Great. Perfect. Number one, a sense of humor. I love that. The number one gatekeeper filter is, will you fit into our culture? Because if not, there's the door. These other things we can train you on, but a sense of humor and the ability to fit in, that's way too important for us. It's part of our strategy. I love that. It's actually part of our business strategy. It's one of our values. It's who we are. We lighten the crap up, even though we are, you know, flying millions of people. <laughs> You've got the pilot up there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. We've just found out there's a centenarian on board. So as you deplane, please wish our captain a happy 100th birthday. <laughs> Whatever. They have a lot of fun with things. And again, did it pay? Yeah. Almost four straight decades of profitability. I love that. During the 9-11 bailouts everywhere, people getting into all of their red ink and, and uh, filing for bankruptcy, you've got Southwest Airlines just keeps chugging along. Doesn't need any bailouts from the feds. We're fine. We've got it covered. Here's a, an airline that's uh, based on humor and fun. You know, I think about what happens in the workplace with leadership is they're afraid that if they show a little bit of uh, levity and frivolity or humor that they'll lose respect or they won't be taken seriously enough. Case in point, I love the political season. It reminds me of one of my favorites, the 96 election with Dole and Clinton. You know, Dole's people said, look, we need a contrast for Slick Willie. And that's the term that we all remember back then. And his, you know, what was happening, we won't get into details. But Dole, of course, very serious, very staid, very professional. He's got the, the hurt arm from war. He's a war veteran. And he kept that all the way down the line. The minute he loses the election, where do you see him on? What TV shows? Letterman, Leno, Saturday Night Live, spoofing himself. He's in a, an ED, an erectile dysfunction commercial, walking down the beach in a sweater. Bob Dole, how you doing? This arm isn't the only whatever. I mean, you fill in the, I don't, I don't go there. But I mean, you know, where was that humor during the campaign? Now, I'm not saying that you put a lampshade on your head and you're shooting off one-liners and a guy walks into a bar in a debate, but people want a whole person as their president. They want to know that this is a person that can loosen a tie and pull a little Herb Kelleher occasionally, you know, just sort of have the right sort of spirit about them. And I think that was damaging to him, among other things, of course, but it pays to lighten up. Harvard Business, we've published this in the book, Sense of Humor is Linked to a Higher Pay and Faster Climb Up the Corporate Ladder, but don't worry, you don't have to be funny to have a sense of humor. I was trying to explain this concept of, <clears throat> you know, not um, having a sense of humor from birth on the Today Show. And I had people around the country call and go, great job, you're on the Today Show. Why did you feel it necessary to flirt with Jenna Wolf? I don't see it as flirting. I've seen this a million times. Let me play you 10 seconds of the clip. You tell me if this at all feels flirtatious. The fact of the matter is most people aren't necessarily born with a, you know, your kind of sense of humor, very oh, acute. Yes. Uh, and you're cute as well. You I mean, think I'm cute? That, you are, yeah, you're yeah. cute. Sure, you're cute. Anyway. Yeah, I don't see it. Uh, they tell me it's in there somewhere. I'm not sure. My wife was fine with it too, so I don't care. <clears throat> Either way. <laughs> What you think. So it pays, again, to act appropriately with women who aren't my wife and to lighten up. So.